Hello and welcome to another one-off video. In this week's video we'll be looking at the Samsung IP camera range. We'll be taking you through the five ranges of IP cameras that Samsung offer and the differences between the entry-level models, the premium models and everything else in between. Also at the end of the video we'll go through the Samsung product naming rule so that you can have a better understanding of how the Samsung product codes work. So let's get started with a quick fly through of all the Samsung IP camera ranges starting with the entry-level WiseNet Lite. WiseNet Lite is the cheapest Samsung range and because of this it does have limitations like only having 1.3 and 2 megapixel models. But it still includes a lot of features that you'll find in almost every IP camera today such as intelligent video analytics, motion detection, privacy masking and a micro SD slot. The light range also includes lens distortion correction and hallway view which are available in all Samsung ranges. The focal length options are limited, you can either have a 2.8 to 12mm verifocal model or a 2.8 or 3.6mm fixed lens depending on the model. Or you have the three PTZ models which all feature 23 times optical zoom. The next range up the scale from the light series is the WiseNet Q series, which is slightly more expensive but still affordable, and now you not only have the choice of 2 megapixel but also 4 megapixel models. All the onboard features are the same as the light series, the only difference being that the light series only has the H.264 codec, whereas the Q series cameras can use the H.265 codec in conjunction with Samsung's own WiseStream codec which together produces a 75% bandwidth reduction over using H.264. The next range is the WiseNet 3 series. This range is similar in price to the Q series, but is different because these models are designed around the DSP chipset, which allows for much better low light performance, especially when using the built-in Samsung Super Light Enhancer software, as well as much greater processing power for running Edge applications, which are third-party add-ons that give your camera extra features beyond what it came with out of the box. The cameras in the 3 series range from 1.3 to 3 megapixel and include features like image stabilization, defog, p-iris and more. But it does depend on which model from the range you are looking at as to how many of these special features it will have. Next we have the penultimate range, the WiseNet X series. This range is described as the affordable premium range. With the best wide dynamic range performance of any Samsung range and incredible low light performance that is so impressive the cameras can produce colour images in almost complete darkness without IR. All the models in the X series are available in either a 2 or 5 megapixel variant and all the models come with Samsung's latest video codec, WiseStream 2. This latest version of WiseStream is so powerful that it can reduce data by up to 99% when compared to H.264. Also, the final feature that is unique to the X-Series is the ability to connect wirelessly to a camera using a USB dongle connected to the camera. This then allows you to view a live feed of the camera via a companion app, which makes the whole process of installing the camera much easier. The X-Series is also one of the only IP camera ranges to include dual SD card slots, which can both take up to 256GB of storage, which means in total you can have up to 512GB of storage on board. And when you combine this with the WiseStream 2 codec, you can expect to record for a substantial period of time. The final Samsung camera range is the Professional Premium WiseNet P series, which is only made up of 4K cameras, either 8 megapixel models recording at up to 30 frames per second, or 12 megapixel models recording at up to 20 frames per second. All the P series range include digital auto tracking for tracking objects moving through the scene. As well as this, the P-Series cameras include many of the features that we have seen in previous ranges, including motion detection, P-Iris, defog, wide stream, and many more. It is at this stage that I should point out that to be sure of what features each Samsung camera has, make sure to double check the product pages and the accompanying data sheets. Now, the final part of this video is a quick run through of Samsung's product naming rule to give you a greater understanding of the sometimes confusing product codes and to help you with searching for the type of cameras that you want. So here's an example Samsung product code. At the start of all Samsung codes there will be three letters. The first letter is the range the camera comes from, P for P series, X for X series and so on and so on. Some cameras will have an S at the beginning. This is for older existing camera ranges such as the light series or the 3 series. The second letter will pretty much always be an N as this stands for network camera. Samsung does do an analogue range of cameras, but we currently do not sell these. So you may see product codes with a C as the second letter around the web, but these are analogue, not IP cameras. The third letter defines the style of camera, for example B stands for box camera, 
O stands for bullet camera, P stands for PTZ, M stands for multi-sensor, and so on. When it comes to dome cameras, you will have one of two letters. If it's an indoor-only dome, the third letter will be a D, and if it's an outdoor vandal-proof dome, then the letter will be a V. Now we move on to the second half of the product codes. This half of the code starts with a four-digit number, and the first of these digits represents the resolution of the camera and can range from 1 to 9. But now as camera technology gets better, the resolutions of new cameras gets better, and so you won't see any Samsung cameras with a number lower than 5, as this stands for 1 megapixel. The rest of the scale is as follows, 6 stands for 2 megapixel, 7 stands for 3 and 4 megapixel, 8 stands for 5 megapixel, and 9 stands for 8 megapixel or higher. The next two numbers are quite confusing, so I will just briefly explain that they dictate the focal length of the camera's lens and whether it is a fixed or verifocal lens. But it is easier to just look at the product page or datasheet to confirm these lens details. The final number is the camera version number, this ranges from 0 to 9, but as most of Samsung's cameras are quite new, this will more than likely stay at 0. The only ones that might be different will be the existing ranges that begin with an S, as these models have been around for years. The last part of the product code is the letter denoting the features of the camera. Now, some models won't have a letter at the end of the code as they have no extra features, but a lot of them do. For example, if the code ends with an R, that stands for IR LEDs. If it ends with a V, that stands for Vandal Proof. If it ends with an H, that means the camera comes with a housing, and so on and so on. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please do by clicking here. Check the description below for links to our Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus feeds. Follow the link here for our webshop, and if you want more videos like this, click here. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.